It's almost over. OK, Please Lisa, as hard as you can now. As hard as you can now. Hang on. Let's go. That's the way you're doing With life and love in Ferndale comes babies. Through the years, Shorty has seen many births, including on day one. OK, just come back now. Lisa, come back. Just gently now. Take it easy. So here are just a few of our most memorable baby arrivals. On the day of ex-husband TK's wedding, Sarah Potts found herself in labour with TK's baby. Interesting timing, kiddo. Excuse me. Hey, you home already? I think I may be in labour. What? Don't panic. I've had a couple of contractions, but they're not too bad. Uh, where are you? Um, well, I've pulled over and um, I'm kind of in the middle of a bunch of fields. I'll borrow someone's car. No, I think I'll be okay. I'll just wait for a few minutes, and if nothing else happens, then I'll drive myself to the hospital. And if something does happen? Well, then I'll drive faster. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. What? Maybe it was the word flooding. Um, my water's just broke. Holy. Right, hang up right now and call 111. Okay. And, and be cool, Mum. I know you can do it. Yeah, I know I can do it too. I would just rather do it in a hospital. Damn, I knew I shouldn't have worn these shoes. Huh? Nothing. Mum's in labour. What? Where is she? She's on the side of the road. She had to stop the car. Her water's broke. And she was going to ring the ambulance, but I haven't heard anything since. And she stopped answering her phone. Please explain to the Oimata what's happened. Are you sure this is what you want to do? What kind of a man would I be if I left Sarah alone at a time like this, huh? Right. So you're going to leave Oimata alone instead, in front of everybody, her whanau and friends. It's my child coming into this world, OK? A moment like that, you only get one chance. This here today could be your only chance too. You think about that. If he doesn't want to marry me, then I should probably know that now. Actually, I probably should have known that before I put this stupid dress on and got in that damn car and got everyone that we know to... Oi. Did you let me speak? <sighs> His ex-wife went into labour. TK's gone to help. I'm sorry, Cuddy. Maybe he felt he should be there. He didn't have to go. <laughs> What's that? Stop the car! Oh no! Come on! I've seen this car before. Yeah, Hunter! Hunter! Help! Are you hurt? I think my wrist's broken. What about Hunter? There's a lot of blood. He's unresponsive. <laughs> TK! Just me. Lordy, when you said you were prone to chaos, you weren't joking. I dropped my phone. Oh. 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 oh this is happening now? Yeah, yeah, now. Oh. Great. Uh, yeah, and really great. I had a doctor in the car with me, too. Damn, this is going to be 20. Good. Hey, I'll get you. Guys, is that petrol? Yeah, it smells like a bay. Oh. oh, I remember this bit. What? Oh, I've got to push now. Are you sure? I told you not to question me. Yeah, but do you think you're fully dilated? I've just got to push this baby out. That's all I know. Okay. Uh. 
But of course, this is Shorty. We couldn't be content with just a roadside labor and disrupted wedding, so we threw in... TK, come on! We can't just leave them there. So what, we lose them both? Come on, man, hurry! <sighs> I'm driving. Back up, shut up, listen to me, mate. I need a weird weight over here. As you can. <laughs> okay. Just help me out, buddy. Come on. So as Tilly Potts was arriving, it looked like TK Samuels might be leaving. <laughs> One more push will do it, Sarah. Now. That's the way. Here she is. Come Guess what, guys? My waters are broken. Oh. What does that mean? That means Carmen's baby's coming tonight. We're not going anywhere! Oh, my God! Carmen, we must have broken our moorings! We're adrift! Living on a boat was a fun quirk for Guy and Carmen Warner until a storm and labour arrived at the same time. All right, that head's crowning. So for the next contraction, oh, give us a good push, OK? okay. <sighs> Be so brave, honey. Oh. Does this feel better? No. Okay. Oh, okay. When you're ready, you can push, though. Okay? That's it. Come on, give us a good push, Carmen. Come on, give us a good push. All right, we've got a shoulder. Okay, come, come on, on. Push. No. Oh, come another on. one. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. oh. We've got a good one. Oh, is it? Oh. Okay. Guy? Do you want to cut the cord? Oh, I'm sure. Here we go. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, just like your mother. <laughs> Thank you, Bex. You're fantastic. Here you go. Hello, little baby. Here you go. Hello. Oh, well, she's got all her fingers and all her toes. And one head. May I hold it? The only challenge now would be naming her. Taking the well down, even for a Tuesday. Yeah? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm an idiot. What? We're out of gas. We've got to fill up before we left. There's a petrol can there. In 2014, while in Fiji for a hospital-sponsored medical aid trip... How far are we from civilization? Um, according to this, there's a village about two miles ahead. So it's walkable? Mm -mm. Not in your condition. No, 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 I'll manage. I'll be faster on my own. Grace Kwan found a very <sighs> inappropriate time for the arrival of her baby girl. <sighs> Oh, no way, boy, you... Oh. Oh. Do you check who that is? It's Grace. Hi, uh, Grace, it's Kylie. Chris is about to operate. Listen carefully. Uh, I'm on the road to Suva, uh, about 30 k's from the clinic. We ran out of petrol, so Boyd's gone to get some. OK. I'm here by myself, and I've gone into labour. She's having the baby. Where are you? I'm on the road to Suva. Um, Sorry about this, Chris. We ran out of petrol, so Boyd's gone to get some. How regular are the contractions? My water's only just broken. OK, hold on. I will be with you as soon as I can. Hurry, please. I have to go. No, you can't. Excuse me? Anna's having difficulty breathing and she's coming up in, in welts. I think she's having an allergic reaction. 
Chris, come on, do something. Help her. How are things going in here? Anna has had an allergic reaction to some tablet she took this morning, but I have to go. But why? Grace is stuck on the road to Suva, 30 k's away. Contractions have started and her waters have broken. No, you need to stay here. I can't. My baby is about to be born by the side of the road. She's got boys. No, she hasn't. He's walked off to get petrol. Who knows how long he'll be. I have to go to her. Chris, you have patience here. I'll be back as soon as I can. No, that is not good enough, Chris. You need to get your priorities straight. But what about Grace? I'll go. Things won't grind to a halt if I leave, but they will if you do. There could be any kind of complication. Hopefully not. I'll keep you informed. Well, Chris couldn't be present for the birth of another of his children. Now, Grace, one more big push. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Things that did end up going well for Trinity Kwan's arrival into the world. Cut the cord. Is she okay? Yeah. She is just perfect. She's beautiful. In the back of a van. Ellen Crozier and David Kearney welcomed baby Rose into the world in typical Shoreland Street fashion. Are you decent? No, I'm in labour. With a minor disaster and a rush trip to the hospital. Now, delivery suites in their page, Kate, so she shouldn't be far away. Thanks, Caroline. I really appreciate this. Oh, I'm just so pleased I decided to come and see you. Imagine, could have been a water birth. <laughs> well, half as thankful as me. Another push. But in the end, Rose Crozier Kearney arrived into the world with little more disruption. <laughs> it's a girl. Hi, and a funny wee thing she is too. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hello there. Can you make the coffee? I'll go wake sleepy head. Uh, not fresh or instant? David, quickly! Tragically, however, a year later. Elizabeth. Oh my God. You always clear. Call an ambulance. Baby Rose's storyline took an unexpected turn. And Frank. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's give this time to remember the rose you knew. Some of you might like to share those memories. I looked for a poem for you, Rose, but they were old words and not the right words. But I wanted to say something. I feel sad now and empty. Now, most of the time, I don't want to feel these things when I think of you, Rose. So I'm going to remember how you looked at me and then smile. And how you made me smile even times when I didn't feel like smiling. I'm 
never gonna stop thinking of you growing up and how you and I would be. I mean, we might not, might not always have got on, but mostly we'd make each other smile. <laughs> You're always gonna be my sister and we're gonna smile again for you. I love you. Bye, Rose. And that's our Shorty Selects for this time. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for even more Shorter Street from the archives.